Hey guys, and welcome again back to another Top 10 list. For today, we will venture forth into the lush green fields and breathtaking worlds that these fantasy anime have provided us abundantly with. That is why for today, we will be talking about the Top 10 Best Fantasy Anime You Need to Watch. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and press on that bell icon and send us all to be notified about our latest videos. Coming in at number 10, we have Maria the Virgin Witch. Starting off, we get this body schmecks comedy drama story of a witch that hates conflict and always does her best to stop conflict in its tracks, even if that includes her fighting on the battlefield and summoning her gigantic constructs to stop the battle going on. As things get even more messy, she is halted by the archangel Michael, dictating that she will lose her powers when she loses her virginity. This might seem anticlimactic for some, but this is quite the enjoyable show and you will love the fantasy aspect of it as well as some other things. The etchy. Coming in at number 9, we have Goblin Slayer. This time the show is with a lot more grit and gore and will make your stomach churn. After the release of its first infamous episode, people were in an uproar at how vivid the R scene was and how it set the mood for the series all the way from the first episode. It's not your run-of-the-mill, happy-go-lucky fantasy action. It is a horror, thriller, gore show with lots of action, dead goblins, and of course, the scariest, most badass goblin hunter ever, the Goblin Slayer. Coming in at number 8, we have Wonder Egg Priority. This show is the best example of bending reality and merging it with dreamlike worlds in ways you can't perceive and imagine. This show takes up a lot of sensitive cases on that including, but not exclusive to, bullying, rape, abuse, and many others that all consequently were the cause for certain girls to commit, well, suicide. The whole idea of this anime is to explore those daily lives of those girls, what caused their deaths, and battling their demons freeing them of their clutches. And the show executes it in a phenomenal way and relates to many cases that a lot of people are suffering from and fighting daily with. Who knows what demons the person next to you is fighting, right? In my opinion, the moral of this anime and story was to show the world the consequences of their actions no matter how small. It can scar someone and lead them to their end. So please, try to be nice to others, guys. Coming in at number 7, we have Somali and the Forest Spirit. In a world where humans are a minority and treated as nothing but food or delicacy for monsters, and with the human race biting off more than they could chew and losing dearly in the war, they started against the other races. They are all but driven into extinction. Our story takes place with a golem, a protector of the forest on his usual patrol only to find a lost child stranded from her parents and other humans. In this anime, they will go to many cities and explore around this tattered world until they find the parents of the girl. It is an affectionate, dramatic, and fun anime to watch, and quite with its fair share of fights and cool battles, accompanied with decent animations, all those earn the series its place on this list. Coming in at number 6, we have Spice and Wolf. This is definitely a shoujo entry for all the girls out there, as it is also taken off the visual novel with the same title as well. The show starts off as the spirit Holo asking a traveling merchant to take her to her home in the north to the city of Yoitsu where she was born since the humans seem self-abundant now and forgot all about how she used to bless their crops and nurture their fields. The traveler accepts after realizing the capabilities of a shrewd traveler friend, and they embark on an adventure filled with thrill, peril, and fun as well. And there are some unexpected romantic moments here and there, and I'm not talking about fan service like in Harem. Here, the romance scenes are well-refined, poetic, and benefit the plot making it all the more worthwhile watching. Coming in at number 5, we have Natsume's Book of Friends. Natsume was bestowed by his deceased grandmother a responsibility that is out of his league and seems to put his life in turmoil and conflict. You see, he was given the Book of Friends, a book in which he can control any of the yokai named in it. But the book also has a second feature, which is the ability to free those yokai and help them cross over and finish their unfinished business by the means of returning their names to them. Now Natsume along with his self-proclaimed protector will have to find those yokai in the Book of Friends and free them from their prison. Coming in at number 4 we have Berserk. Back to the grit, 
badass, and gore side of the fantasy genre with the all-time classical Berserk. Venture forth with guts on his journeys in this world infested with crooked humans and monsters alike as he tears through his opposition with his big-ass sword that I frankly have no idea how he can even muster the strength to carry that thing, let alone swing it, but I guess that's anime logic for you. And hey, as long as the show is good with lots of fights and fantasy, I am all in. One thing I should mention though, for those who don't already know this series, isn't for everyone. It has a lot of violence, gore, and our scenes, so yeah. You have been warned guys, and you better exercise with caution as you delve into the unforgiving world of Berserk. Coming in at number 3 we have Wolf Children. Even though it is called Wolf Children and it explores the lives of Yuki and her brother Ame, at first, however, what it truly symbolizes and emphasizes on is the never-ending love and caring of a mother for her children, and all the limits that she is prepared to cross to protect them and guard them from harm, especially including the fact that they can morph into wolves whenever they want to. It is a wholesome adventure of the life of an ordinary single mother raising her extraordinary two children all on her own. It is fun. It is appealing and it will draw a smile on your face with its wholesomeness guaranteed. Coming in at number two, we have Mononoke Hime. You can say whatever you want, but the fact still remains to this day that Miyazaki was ahead of his time and brought forth a revolution in the anime business and had a great impact on it that is still there to this very day. This movie was made in 1997 and every single scene in it was crafted to perfection and drawn by hand, something that was utterly amazing back then and for it to have even better transitions and animation sequences than other modern shows just shows how good Studio Ghibli are and how hard they work in order to craft this wonderful piece of art. This movie should be watched by everyone at least once in their lifetime to just marvel at the perfection of the world crafted whether it was the forest with all its mystical creatures or the Iron City exploring all its politics, how it works, what men and women do there, and practically explaining what makes that city tick. I guarantee you, one hell of a ride, and you will enjoy this movie, so go ahead and check it out. And number one goes to Made in Abyss. This series takes the number one position for all the good reasons, and trust me, they are many. This show tackles the story of a young go lucky adventurer that dreams of exploring the endless chasm that is the abyss, and find what lies hidden in it. I have to say as well, that comes along with the fact that you can enter the chasm, but if you try leaving it, you will be inflicted by its curse that later on can cause death. The sense of adventure is accompanied with a sense of dread and danger that we are flung into with each episode and with events unfolding. The two lovable, cutely designed characters become suddenly red bullseye marks just waiting for someone to pounce on them and end their adventure prematurely. And just like that, the lighthearted theme that you thought the series was going to take takes a 180 degree turn and becomes dark so damn fast. The animation style is great and suits the show so well, the sense of mystery is an addition, and the events that unfold and the way they are executed is just a cherry on top and deserves a chef's kiss. Mwah. Overall, this is an utterly breathtaking show that you guys shouldn't miss no matter what. And with that, we conclude our list and we'll end today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and if you liked it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and be notified about all our latest videos and upcoming content. And also, write down in the comments below what fantasy anime you would have loved to see on this list. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.